Harry, mate. Today, we're going to be reviewing an old Argos catalogue. In fact, we're going to be looking at one that was out before I was born. Shout out to said person whose channel I found myself surfing late at night. Without further ado, let's get straight into it and let's start checking out some of the weird and wonderful items of the 80s. Lovely watch there. First page we've got, oh look at the her, fantastic. A little love locket, oh. Watches, that's what we're talking about. Let's see what we've got. Look at that, the Timex one. That's fascinating, sorry I'm going proper like deep in here. Timex watch there, looks fantastic, looks quite cool. Uh, how much is number seven? 20 quid, adjusted for inflation, that's, it's too much. Quite frankly, it's too much, whatever it may be. Oh no, we've got some classic clocks here. Look at that. Look at that little one that goes in a little pocket thing. I've never seen that. A clock with some kind of light on it. All right, don't know how I feel about that. That's a bit unusual. Look at that one. Whoa, that's one just for the wall. Uh, you got a little acorn thing there. I'm not sure what that is. One hour timer. I like that. But what's number 11? Mate, that's got to be expensive. $29.99. The Matamec Quarter Sunray Battery Wall Clock. <laughs> no, you can't. You can. You can buy one of the things for uh, for your own home. The electric her things. No, how much does that set you back? Sorry, I'm going proper in here. You can't even see me. Uh, $23.99 to have one of them things that woof your her. Mate, that's class, that. Oh, there we go. We're flipping through. Oh, we got ladies. Wait. You could buy sunbeds for your house. Is this legit? What the f... What? No way. I mean, there's a bit of, bit of rudeness here, but... You can buy sunbeds for your house. That's class. How come they stop doing that? I, do you know what I mean? Is they, They're not as popular anymore. Whoa! Here we are. This is where the old ladies get the carts from. Class. I don't mind that. That number two there. It's like a. a it's like Harry Potter esque in it, and like it's quite. But it's quite stylish. Some tankards. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Wait, did we just see? <gasps> Whoa! How much is it for one of those? Sorry, I'm lost. You you can't see me again. An electric trouser press. <laughs> Forty eight ninety nine. So that's. In today's money, which is probably a lot, but imagine your own little trouser press. Bang! Put the line in your pants. Bang! Business. And because they didn't have any distractions back then, it was probably cool to you know bang. Put your stuff in the press, in it. Cool pipes. Sorry, sorry. Pipes. Man, this is this is cool. This set of three pipes, one each. Uh, bent apple and. B Billard pipes. I'll put the link in the description so you can check this stuff out. Now this is lost on the world. Look at that for ashtrays and cigar boxes. A marble cigar or cigarette box. That is top. That is top notch. Sorry. I'm all about it. I was born in the wrong generation. But look at that. The uh, ear that you see on um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the uh, turkey cat. Do people still have them or do they just use knives like? Yeah, they're classic. New turkey carver man. Let's be honest guys, these little ovens, these little things you've got here, it's just air fryers in it. Everyone just loves air fryers now and I'm not, I don't like air fryers. So there's something about them. I reckon in about 10 years they'll come out and be like, air fryers cause cancer. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Automatic kettle switch off when boiled. <laughs> that's such an alien, like, that's such an obvious thing to have now, isn't it? But back then, that's like an alien concept because people just put the pots on the uh, the hob, didn't they? And just whee, and screamed at them. Whereas now, this is like, Automatic kettles switch off when boiled. No more burning the house down. Look at all this. Although, almost, I almost want to also look at the food they're serving. Because now, like, the food would be, now, nah, the food would be dead different, wouldn't it? Would it would be all, like, curries and, like, some kind of rice dish or something like that. But in the 80s, we've got cheese and crackers, staple of the British diet. Uh, 
pickles, not so much, nuts. We've got some biscuits, tea and biscuits. Uh, and it looks like, it looks like that brown, weird, like a beef butter. Like a weird ham beef butter. All about that. Pans. More dishes. More dishes. These are the same, these have been the same for years. Look at that Hoover! Whoa! <laughs> the Aquavac. Aquavac! These are cool. These are like, look at that handheld Hoover there. That's legendary. Whoa, I wonder how much it costs now. Look at that! Where is that not still a thing? So, you attach it to your wall, as standard, and then pull it out, and that's your washing line. That's genius. Why have they stopped that? Why have we demoted ourselves back to just a line? Or like, the same things that they've got there, the, the racks? What happened to the pulley out rack? Ah, oh, oh, that's top. Sorry, I'm genuinely excited about that. But also disheartened that it's, it's no longer with us. <laughs> cool. Look at the designs, the horses. <laughs> That's gangster. I don't want to stay at Nan's. She always has the horses on the bedding. Is that a baby in a water bowl? What is that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Look at the suitcases, right? Now, give me a minute. Now, look back. No wheels. Yeah. You was filling them as much as you could because there wasn't weight restrictions. And you was lugging it like that. Like this. this is why people in the past were stronger. You didn't have little, oh, little wheels on your suitcase. Get it picked up. Come on. I don't think I've ever seen a roof rack advertised in a shop. Oh, we've got Ernie. We've got Ernie! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he never used one of them. Never in his life. <laughs> We've got the serial killer couple there in the corner with the jam jars on. Just getting ready for life. Black and white TVs! Get in! We had one of these growing up in my uh, dad's room. Black and white TV. £81. Look at, look at the price, right? Now look at what that is. £81. That is insane for a black and white telly. Then a colour TV, a colour TV would set you back 245 quid. That is, that's mental. I'm making myself do a lot of editing here, aren't I? Action figures. I mean, does it get any better? That was the prime of my childhood action figures. I loved it. We had Bionicle. We had obviously Star Wars. You had obviously uh, He-Man figures, even though they're 80s. You had... Um, Batman figures, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all these kinds of things, and it was just next level action figures. Uh, okay, so what have we got? We've got Ron. <laughs> don't know what that is. We've got Chad Valley. We've got Darth Vader, of course. We've got a Hulk and someone else. What the hell is that? Action man, look at action man there. That's next level. Lego. Right. Notice something about these Lego sets, right? Typical sets. No stupid film branding. It doesn't have to be a film or a TV series or a, it's just Lego. You need creativity. The kids have no creativity these days because everything's a set. Everything's like, you have to build this. Well, no, I don't, lad. No, I don't. I'll build what I want. So stop just making it one thing. Give me the blocks. That's all they want, the blocks. I think, I think I've heard of that, but I've not played it. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop. Luxury Casino. <laughs> that is class. Mate, I'm going to try and buy that. A kid's casino. What? Help your kids start a frivolous life through gambling. <laughs> Do your kids love risk? <laughs> Lose your house as a child. That is well good. What is that? Uh, it's 10. Number 10. Brewerick's Luxury Casino. 7.49. Wow, Spirograph, I had Spirograph, Mr. Frosty, classic, we've all had that. Oh, electronics, guitars, hoovers, no. I'm not going to get into gender stereotypes here, but we do have uh, hoovers, brushes, uh, and ironing boards in pink, <laughs> and guitars in red, <laughs> for some reason. No, 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 not touching that one. Although you do have a washing machine, which I quite like that. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? That's hideous. That is hideous. That one in the middle. Ugh. Not about that. Oh, the bin. The bin. The bin. The bin. Did you have a bin? Did, did any of you have a bin? Right. When I was a kid, we used to have that, that, that kind of bin where it's like you put all your toys in it and it's like a weird fluffy monster thing. <laughs> but yeah, we had one of those. I mean, it's terrifying. It's, it's haunting. But yeah, it's cool. Cool. Have we gone past all the action figures? All the, that was it for action figures. Wow. That's insane. These days you get like pages on pages on pages. But now it's just back in the day, you got Lego. You got Vader or Action Man, and that's your job lot. Let's see if there's anything else just at the back of the catalogue here. Uh, before we finish up, we've got, yeah, you've got your foosball table, classic. You've got test match, I don't know what that is. Pool tables, of course. Uh, discount prices on everything. And then just the back. Uh, with Taylor Swift. Why is, why is Taylor Swift on the back? 